I wanted to show you the simplest way to make uh, make histograms, the simplest and fastest way. It may, this method may be even faster than you know the common methods such as using Excel or Minitab. It's just running one line of uh, one line command, and that's it. And it is it is basically run with a Python script, right? So this is a Python script that I developed. Uh, you can download it from this site. The first thing you're going to need to do is obviously just go to this this link, uh, which I will be providing below the video. And after that, you're going to click on this green button and you're going to copy it, copy the URL here. Uh, after you do that, you're going to open a terminal, either if you're on Ubuntu or Linux, or you're going to open a git bash terminal and you're going to clone the URL which is basically this repository. So on git bash or in a terminal, you're gonna type git clone and you're gonna paste and that URL. And basically what this does is it, it clones, you know, this whole folder, this whole repository into your, to your computer. So we're gonna go, now you can use File Explorer, but, or, but I'll, use, I'll just be using the terminal. I'm gonna use the just to access the this newly created folder and so you can see that now it is on my computer you can see uh, I have this cute histograms folder with the Python file and readme so we're gonna access just for fun for the sake of it the the content of these two files and so this first file the readme file is already you can already see it. it's already visible in the repositories website but the other one it's not the other one we, you're seeing it right now for the first time so as you can see the, the program is very simple it's just five lines of functional code the other ones are just like loading modules or like defining some inputs here but basically um, this is all it takes to make histograms all right uh, and I will be going on detail on a little bit more detail by just through an example that I will be uh, showing you right now. Yeah, so okay. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna download a spreadsheet file from this program. And this program, what it does is it generates three thousand. Not now. Okay. So three thousand prisms, rectangular prisms. It can generate more, but just like right now, it's generating 3,000, and it tabulates all the dimensional measures for for all the objects as well as their their volume, and all relative, obviously relative dimensions, relative volumes, right? So it's gonna after this, you know, it's just gonna give you a default name for the that this whole spreadsheet, and you can just save it as measurements.csv. So I'm just gonna do that, save it. It's gonna be saving it in my downloads folder or actually another a folder where I house my downloads. And so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna go with the next step of the readme. So we have actually just gone, we have done already step number one, a new folder named Qt Histograms will be created. So step number two is complete also. Now we're gonna create a new folder inside Qt Histograms where all our spreadsheet files will be. And this is just example. You can give it my spreadsheets as a name. And I'll, I'll just do that, you know, just name my spreadsheets. As you can see, the, the default for the command is also my spreadsheets. You can change the default, obviously, change it to some other folder. But I just want to keep things simple. So I just want to create a folder with, uh, you know, that has my spreadsheets, has the name. Yeah, my spreadsheets. So we're going to do that now. So we are going to create the folder. You can do it, you know, using File Explorer. I just use the terminal, make there my spreadsheet. And so now we have a folder inside, you know, this repository, this clone repository. So we're going to go, we can go inside the folder, my spreadsheets, by changing the directory. And obviously there's nothing inside right now, but what we're going to do is we're going to place the downloaded spreadsheet that I just showed you from this program, right? Uh, into this My Spreadsheets folder that is inside the Qt Histograms uh, repository, right? So you can obviously, I don't wanna access my, 
sorry, I don't want to access my file explorer. It's for some private personal reasons, so I'll just do everything, run everything through the command line, through the terminal. Sorry, let me. Something's happening to my computer. Okay, so why? So okay, copy. Just gonna do hopefully in downloads. And as you may recall, um, you know this spreadsheets was had a default a default file name of called uh, my measurements, right? So we're just gonna copy that measurements file in our downloads to this folder, and we're also gonna call it measurements, same name. Okay. Sorry. Why? Why is this happening to my computer now? Okay. So if you just click on directory or to, to look at what's inside my spreadsheets, as you can see, I've I've just copied it, and it has this m this name measurements.csv. Right. So now we're gonna follow. We're gonna go with the next step. The next step, I believe, is just running the simple one-liner. And so the line that I'm talking about is this last line, Python, Qt histograms, dash p. Um, the same is here. Now, there's no need for us to run the dash p command because this is already defaulted for us. So we're just gonna run, the only need, the thing we need to run is we're just gonna need to change the dash f uh, name of the extension. And I'll be showing you that in a few. My mouse is going crazy right now for some reason. So we're going to go back to our cute histograms folder. And we're going to type Python. This is basically the line that you need to run. Okay, Cute histograms. And then we're just going to type dash h so you can see all the help. You know, that's the basically what I what I showed. The file path is the, the basically a folder name. And a file name followed by a forward slash. Then the file name is just the file name that we are trying to make histograms for. So the file, our file name is, as you already know, you may recall, measurements.csv, and that's the file that we've, you know, you need to obviously move it to the, my, to the folder of spreadsheets, right, inside your cute histograms uh, folder. So we've already done that. So I just need to do this, just uh, type dash F, the name of the comma separated value spreadsheet file, and this, then press enter. And then it's gonna give you the data or a summary of the data uh, from the comma separated value spreadsheet. Uh, it's gonna basically convert it to a data frame on Python. And that's what you see here. You see the four columns, length, width, height, volume. And it's, as you can see, it's asking you here below, it's asking you how many columns, right? So that's basically, we have four columns, obviously. But if you just wanna plot the first two columns, you just have to write the number two. Right, so I'm just going to type in here, it's just, because I typed two, which is length and width, the first two columns, right? Now, if you want to type them all, you want to make them all, unfortunately, you know, it does from left to right, so uh, you're going to have to just, you know, if you have like 10, you're going to have to 10 and just like click the cancel, cancel until you get the 10th histogram. Mm -hmm. All right, so we're going to type, we're going to make histograms for all, so just how many columns for so it's gonna plot length, width, height, and volume. And you know you can obviously just save them. Oh, why is this happening to my computer? You can just you can just save it. You can like modify the the plot. Oh, you can modify <laughs> why you can modify the you know the add a title and even to the add a title to the ordinate and axis and you know the other the other axis so that's that's basically it this is uh, it's as simple as that you know just like one line obviously you need you, you know you need to do the cloning but the cloning just needs to be done once to download the repository to your computer so this is basically it's basically it. That's it. That's all it takes to make histograms. All right. So thank you. If you like my video, uh, please give it a like on YouTube. Eh. If you uh, really like my content, uh, please subscribe to my channel. All right. That's it. Thank you.